Welcome everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. I have a guest here, I have Dr. Loco on the other side. Hello? Hello? Hello Loco, hello. We'll be playing XCOM UFO The Two Sides, which is probably a little less known fan-made multiplayer campaign original XCOM UFO game. Which actually allows you to play uh, the campaign from both of the sides, hence the name, the two sides. So we're gonna start a new game and have some fun. All right. So first of all, just like in the original, uh, we both need to select a place for our bases. Uh. Uh, I'll just name it that. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't want it there. Why yeah, did I and I, don't, I have no idea how to get back <laughs> once you click it. No, you can't. That's it. <laughs> uh. Oh, that's annoying. That is quite annoying. So, he has to do his XCOM stuff, and I have to do research, harvesting, abductions, infiltration, and so on and so forth. Uh. And if I don't have a research value... Well, I cannot do research if I don't know the uh, locations. So I have to... Reconnaissance or reconnoiter them first. Uh, also, um, yeah. Weren't you able to? Once you started a research project, weren't you able to ad assign scientists? Yes. Or does it now automatically assign all uh, available. I'm scientists? not sure. You should be able to if you click on it. Yeah. Then it just says cancel the research. Hmm. I'm not sure. No, it probably addresses everyone. Because I have nowhere the option to sign it. Hmm. Been a while. <laughs> yeah, it has been a long while. <coughs> uh, I'll probably do this one for now. I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know. <laughs> so what did you do? I <laughs> built some equipment storage. Oh, you're telling me. I'm building it. Also, I'm already, I'm already ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can start a project, but of course none of this is going to get researched. Okay. Uh, I hope that's not due to my me being in full screen, but I cannot produce anything. Right. Uh, we'll do it like this. Actually, no. <laughs> the classic blip, blip, blip. Yeah. You click things. <laughs> All the ah, here it is. Um, I think I'm ready. It's always a bit of looking. Where did that thing go again? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, is it here? No, what are you looking yes. for? Um, I was looking for. I was looking to see in your. Where I, uh, if I wanted to add new uh, people or uh, recruit more staff, uh, how many living quarter spaces I had. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay. I used to build no bases, so I had an easy one-way corridor. <laughs> <laughs> Music's really good. Oh, 
it's really bright. Look at the Sahara Desert! Oh, you're in the Sahara Desert. No, I'm just looking at the Sahara Desert. I'm yeah, most yeah. definitely not in the Sahara Desert. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're in the Sahara Desert. I'm not. Okay. Uh, what's this again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, they're flying. Oh, you cute. Definitely need this. No, you, you don't need that. Oh yeah, definitely. If if you want my strategic advice, send everyone out without a weapon. That way they get the most experience points. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, some friendly alien advice. You, you, uh, Oh yeah, I should probably in the meantime say that uh, this game unfortunately uh, is... Well, it hasn't been available for a long time now because the team that was originally developing it they said they wanted to start their own gaming company and that creating something based on copyrighted material like this would look very bad on the studio so suddenly they pulled all the downloads Cease development. I it's really sad because this game was almost, almost complete. Uh, it just needed balancing and such. Um, so yeah, uh, there's probably still places where you can get this of the internet, but I don't know. I haven't seen it, and I'm hugging my own copy, <laughs> which was free, of course. Just so you know. Okay, you sped up the time. Now, my UFOs are going to do research here, which means. Wait, why, why can I... How did I turn that on? I can't remember. They will do research over this uh, area. Which means that they will increase the amount of organs I can get from abductions. Uh, well, from harvesting missions. The amount of research I can do. And so on and so forth. Uh, something's wrong. What, what, what is going on? How did I know? Research isn't going. Um, are you sure? I think it takes quite a long time. Oh, okay. Maybe you do need to click on it and then, well... No! Instead of clicking on the research project, I think there should be like little arrows next to it. Where you can assign more, uh, researchers. Unless it's different in this version. No. Hmm. Okay. We'll see. Are you sure you have scientists? You should start with like 10 or something. Yeah, I mm. do. Okay, I can speed time up a little bit more still. Okay, these guys are almost done. Ah, now research is ticking. Ah, there you go. But yeah, I used to remember because you could assign different research projects and then assign different... Uh, but now you can only start one research project at a time, not mm. multiple. Are you serious? I'm pretty sure you can start multiple. No. Uh, what does it say? It just doesn't let you? Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna hang on. Don't you dare tell me what to do. How dare you? Oh, yeah. I can't start multiple. There you go. I have Lies! Nowhere, I have nowhere to address how many scientists I want to do. Um, you should go into your base yeah. where you can build stuff and then there should be like base information or something. Yeah. It, sh it might tell you how many scientists and engineers and such you have. It just says living space, storage space, radar. That's what ab it. what about if you go to purchase scientists? Does it tell you how many you have there? Yeah. <coughs> it says I have ten. Okay. So I I know I have ten. I can see it in the research screen as well. Scientists available. Right. Uh, ten. Laboratory space available, 50. Okay. But there's nowhere I can... I assign. think... Uh, try adding another project. You might be able to... Maybe the scientists always work, but you just are able to change the percentage of their yeah. time that they will... No. Y no? No, I, I just have the overview information and that's it. That's very strange. Hmm. Not sure then. Uh, 
I'm not sure. Or maybe it, it just queued it up. That's also possible. <coughs> not sure. So how many organs do I have? Oh no, that's food. Or is it organs? I'm not sure. Okay. So I should have more now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so this is my knowledge of the area. So now it's increased. I still need more, of course. More! And this will take one alien food. These are equipping. Wow, wow, wow. At the music. No, no, no. What, what, what is going on? Uh. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something's happening. I, yeah, I somehow have a second base now. Wait, you built another base? Yeah, I didn't want to, but it just doesn't allow you to get out of it once you get in. Not even with escape? Nope. Oh, okay. Um... Well, we can restart if you want. <laughs> well, I'll manage without funds. <laughs> Wasn't that pretty much the uh, name of the game of the first one and the second one? Always without funds. I think I always struggled and uh, built... I don't know what I built. Laser rifles and sold them? I'm not sure. Okay, can I send these guys? Yes, I can. Let's do it one more time. Oh. One more time, and then we need some harvesting of human organs. Well, <laughs> oh, can't sell the base either. <laughs> nice. I'm pretty sure there should be an option. Maybe if you go into that base. And then information or something. No. Oh. What if you... Just on the Geoscape, what if you left-click or right-click the base? Uh, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not left-clicking anything on the Geoscape anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> then, then I'll have to tell you I have a third base now. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's just next to the one I already had. <laughs> I'll see this giant mushroom cloud. Yeah, I clicked. I clicked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is now 100%, which means that I can harvest with much more efficiency. This is the only annoying thing. If I group UFOs... They can only lift off when all of them are uh, ready, which means that you have to keep checking. Not all ships are ready. Oh, there well, we go. it's going to be a very short game, I know. <coughs> nah. Oh, what's going on? Construction of equipment storage completed. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. What? You have to keep a good eye on your research, because my research was at 120%. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? it just kept going. <laughs> yeah. It didn't tell me it was complete. It, um, it oh, yeah. I think it'll tell you when it's complete. On the left side, there'll be a red bar, which will say press tab. And if you do that, it'll bring up the messages and it'll tell you research complete. It should also slow down the game to one second for you. I think. I think! The other player has left the game? What? What? Are you sure? Because I'm still there. If I press tab, I have a... Uh... Oh, no, 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 it's in the other order. The oldest message is on the bottom. Okay, but if the other player has left the game, then we're not in the same game. It didn't tell me that you left the game or something. If you press tab? Yeah, I don't have anything. I just have construction equipment stories completed. Yeah. 
Well, darn it. <laughs> this is gonna be really interesting if... Uh, <laughs> well, if I see you full. Yeah. Uh, let's do this now. No, the time is... Uh, the, the, the game speed is still changing. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, of course. <laughs> Stupid me. It's like, how, how would we know that you're still in the game? <laughs> While the opponent's speed is changing. Yeah, see, it didn't uh, it didn't pause the game for me there, and the red bar popped up and it said construction of automated construction ring is completed. So I don't know how it is for research, if it pauses it for you or not. It might not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, go forth and abduct. Nom, 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 nom. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like this was a dream come true for an XCOM fan like me. Because it gives you... Um, it gives you the campaign on both sides. Which is something I always thought would be awesome. It would be really awesome with the newer games as well, but I suppose there's just no uh, incentive to do that. What now? Oh. Okay. Do you want to hear something really funny? You know what I used to uh, build things in my base? <laughs> concrete. What? <laughs> it's concrete. <laughs> well, these guys are not ready. These guys are not ready. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat is really bad. Real bad. Wait, why aren't they breeding? Why are oh, they, they what? Oh, they are breeding them. Well, I have to breed aliens. Oh. Like, grow them in vats, I suppose. <coughs> oh, this is gonna be the sh... Th oh, this is research, that's gonna be the ship construction. Never mind! Oh, these guys are ready. Uh... Yes. You know, I really have to keep an eye out on my food, because if I run out, I cannot send any UFOs out anymore. And, uh, I'm at the mercy of waiting for the supply ship from Cydonia. And I was, uh, I was very lucky. What? After building that second base, I just had enough to add a living quarter. Nice. Now your people so can live. I'm now running on zero funds. <laughs> yeah, <so it's laughs> welcome to my month? world. Is it the end of the month yet? Uh, well, it's the sixth of January, so not quite the end of the month. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, excellent! Oh. I've gotta fire my bookie. <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. Okay. It's already done all of that. Uh, so this one. Let's do this one then. Oh, I cannot do it. Don't got enough concrete, yo! Good, good. Uh, well, let's build more of these then. So you're already, uh, near endgame then. <laughs> yes! Yes, one concrete slap, done. <laughs> <Win. laughs> we have stolen the, uh, the human's technology of concrete. We are ready. Let's go. Well, I think the, the biggest challenge they had was uh, to see how they were going to develop the alien side because yeah. nothing was given as information throughout the game except what the aliens were and what role <laughs> they played and, and, and how they looked like. But that's about it. You mean the original developers or these guys? The originals. Oh, yeah. These had to, had to do the entire alien side from yeah. scratch. Well, I, I so like, like how, what they did. Uh, they don't have funding from, from nations, so no. what are they going to use? Uh, how's the building going to be? Yeah. Uh, what type of buildings do they need? They can't recruit, they can't order or, or stuff from, uh, from local countries. Uh, well, I really like what they did with the alien research, because the aliens have to research as well, but it's not ac actually research, it's accommodating alien species and UFOs to the Earth's atmosphere. Uh -huh. Press tab, it said. Oh! What? 
I see UFO sightings in my tap, but I didn't get any UFO sightings in uh, in the game. <coughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, now I remember. If you press space, it'll go to the last message and center on it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I knew you were going to be in uh, America. America. It's probably this one. No, come back to me. You know, I could be an asshole and click return. <laughs> Having get out of there. Um, but I won't. Uh, let's see. Oh, medium. No, I don't, I don't want that. I want something better. You won't, as in... Uh, well, actually, I, I probably should. I didn't, I didn't get the option to uh, equip my soldiers anywhere, so... Uh, I hope they have uh, weapons. There should be... Uh, try the submenus. <coughs> if I click on the soldier... Uh, I have. Uh, oh, I, I know. I think it? I think you have to put the stuff into the Sky Ranger, and when it starts a mission, it will give you uh, the option. Okay, I hope to I equip put him. Sky Ranger then. <laughs> or it's gonna be the fist fight of the century. <laughs> fist to the fight to the. Um, ships. Okay. Okay, let's do some more of these. But you're not here anymore. Okay. <coughs> Get back then. So, you lied about being an asshole. No, they just completed their mission. You took too long. Now all your candy's gone. See, that's something I really miss in the newer games, in the newer XCOMs. The light level. The original and Terror from the Deep were terrifying at night. Holy moly. Yeah, that w usually you'd wait to send yeah. the Sky Ranger out until you arrived in yeah. daytime. Yeah. It's like, no, please, don't, don't leave yet, UFO. Just, I want daylight. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> uh, which one? I'm not ready yet. Yeah, the, the nighttime missions were really, really creepy. And the thing is, uh, it's the same thing here. The aliens can see better in nighttime, at nighttime. Uh, so, you know, it really is an incentive for me to be there at nighttime and you to not be there at nighttime. So now I'm building the medium scout here. And I'm still researching the large breeding facility. Unfortunately, the UI is pretty tiny because, well, believe it or not, this is just full HD resolution. I didn't want to go higher still because, well... Actually, I think the UI would stay the same. It's just the graphics of the uh, combat scape would be even tinier because they use the original graphics. It would be tiny! There's a couple of nice features here and there they added, though. For example, there's an optional um, two-click move. So you have to click first, and it'll show you the path, and I think the time unit cost, and then you click again if you want to confirm. So there's no misclicks, unless you're like me and you're an idiot, in which case you'll have misclicks even with the double-click. <coughs> yeah, what did the double-click do? Nothing. I mean, in, in this game... Double click will just move them there because you'll click first, it'll uh, show you the path, and you'll click again immediately and it'll confirm it. And in the original, there was no double clicking, it was just sending it. Man, the creepiest thing in the original for me was when I was fighting at gas stations and such at night. You moved your soldier not knowing where the aliens were, and then suddenly you just hear the plasma shots ringing out. Uh. <coughs> uh. 
Ja, die ist richtig progress in das, ne? Oh, what's going on? Oh, research complete. So now that... Let's do all that. This is quite fast. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a lull in action at the beginning of the game. But suffice to say, it shall pick up very soon. <laughs> so how's my breeding going? Good. Good. UFO is not ready. C C C. Uh, it happened again. What happened again? My research is at uh, 106 percent. That's so weird. If you have another one um, uh, queued up, it should just go to the next one. I've done that now. <coughs> to see. Yeah, you always have th stuff no. queued up so you don't lose research. No, it's it stays on the same project. Uh, it is now at 108 percent. What the hell? Uh, the thing is, if I cancel it, will it be lost? I don't know. I have no idea. How does it actually finish a project then? If it goes into 120%? Does it let you know that it's finished and it just goes to the next one? I don't know. We'll just keep it running. We'll see at, uh, how many percent we can get it. Yeah, but I thought you've already researched some stuff before. Yeah, but that gave me new options, so I just chose a new option. Oh, okay. So I guess it should be the same now? Yep, it's 124%. Maybe, maybe that uh, is just bugged. And it's not actually over 100%, I don't know. I, uh... I cancelled it. Okay. Uh-oh. I've put it back in. <laughs> is it back in... Cancel this one. Put this one back in. Because if I can <laughs> if I put the motion scanner uh, in queue, right. and I cancel the one that's currently running, then the motion scanner would be at 448%. Wow, what we were. Hmm. I think it's bug. Yeah. I think I have to restart this research. Cancel. Yes. Cancel it. <coughs> Let's do it like this then. Ah, excellent. Excellent! Mm, no. Doesn't work either. So... Cancel that one. Yes. Cancel that one. Yes. Start the project. And it starts from zero again. Okay. Ugh. So, so that's uh, four days of research. Bye bye. Wow. Well, it has to do something, no? I don't know. I honestly can't remember. It's been so many years since I've last played this. Yep, too bad. Hmm. <coughs> That is not a very good method. Oh, what's going on? Ah! Very nice. Uh, let's do that. So now, I want that one out and this one in. Like so, and I want this one in. Okay, that's better. 
Oh, do I have enough concrete? No. I don't think so. Oh no, I do. It's a hundred fifty. Let's see, that one's not ready. That one's not ready. Thanks for that. Man, it would be so nice if they continued development of this, because they would probably iron out the bugs, uh, balance it a bit, and, uh, you know, some quality of life stuff as well. That would be really nice. But, no! I think uh, we're going to end this episode here and continue next time, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it is a slow start. Every XCOM has a slow start. But Maybe I'm we should start at episode 7. Then. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to the first episode, episode 7. What you've missed before, here's a <laughs> hyperspace time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. There's definitely going to be comment next time. I can smell it.